Okay, hi everyone. Um, we're going to do a lesson on Led Zeppelin's Gun California, and it's based on the um, video that I put into the embedded section, um, which you can go and have a look at to see the full playthrough. Um, if you can't find it in the embedded section, then I may have put it into the performance section, depending on whether or not YouTube decide to uh, ban it or not. Um, it's played in drop D, so we tune our sixth string down to D. It's played with an alternating bass uh, rhythm. Now, Guitar Joe, GTR Joe, has um, a lesson on this song, um, and he plays it with both the sixth and the first strings dropped down to D. So you may want to go and check that one out. Um, if you've never played with an alternating bass rhythm before, then um, you may struggle to follow this instructional. Um, I'd suggest that you go to uh, one of the instructionals um, that we have, one of the lessons we have on playing with an alternating bass and um, practice that first and then maybe come back to this one. Um, I'm going to break the song down into uh, the intro, each verse and the bridges, there's several of them. Um, and we'll see how we go. Okay, the introduction. Okay. So we're simply fretting the third string, seventh fret and I bar the first three strings on the fifth fret just in anticipation of the next part that we're going to play. So essentially all we're going to play is the alternating bass with, with that note. Okay, so that's the simple way to play that very first part. Uh, a variation is this. Okay, so we're simply um, using the same note on two strings. So it's the seventh fret, third string, and the third fret, second string. And you get that kind of variation, slight variation between the sounds, in this case slightly out of tune, uh, but you'll have some difference in intonation and the sound of the string simply because of the, the size of the string. Um, and we vary this slightly, so... Okay, so you can see the way I pluck those two strings in. Okay, and that's the reason I do that is because um, I hear a slight variation at the beginning of that song. Um, it's not what he plays, I'm pretty certain. Um, I haven't listened too closely, but there is a variation, and I thought, well, I'll put a variation in there. Um, so that's the more difficult way to play it or you just play this one. And I would suggest that one's a lot easier to start with. Okay, um, the next part. Okay. hope that's clear. Playing the first and second strings here. Sorry, second and then first. Second first. Second first. Second first. And then the third and first. Second first. 
and in concert with the alternating bass it's Okay, so that's the introduction. And then we move on to the first verse. So, from this point. Okay, for me this is the hardest part of the song, changing from here to here. Uh, this part here, it's a fairly fairly fast tempo um, and so to get to here you have to be very clean because we're kind of up stroking, strumming these strings down the bottom here and you can muffle them simply when you're reaching over to this um, fifth fret on the sixth string. Uh, you can easily muffle that with the palm of your hand and you can also easily muffle the second string because it's a fairly quick move with your index finger um, on the first fret of the, oh sorry, the third fret of the first string if it goes too far and touches this second string. So. And again, it's just this upstroke, so it's simply... Okay. So it's uh, first string, third fret, second, open, and then second string, third fret. Again. With the, with the alternating bass. Sorry. And that uh, is the first line of the first verse. Uh, and there's three lines in that verse, so it's played three times. Um, so you can simply play. Three times. Um, and that's probably the simplest way to play it. Um, I actually put in a couple of variations on this part. So very simple, it's just instead of the, we add in a, so on one line you could add one of those, and on the next line you can add, in that way you've got a variation on all three lines then. <laughs> 